We live in a dangerous world. The gods who built it vanished, leaving behind their instruments that aimlessly reshaped the land. These ancient relics harness an unknowable force we call the Anthem of Creation. But the Anthem refuses to be controlled. To survive, our ancestors invented the Javelins and built cities with great walls. Today, it falls to a dedicated group of heroes to face the chaos, protect our homes, and fight for our very survival. We are freelancers. We leap head on into danger, rescuing the lost, keeping the monsters at bay, and silencing the Anthem's terrible cataclysms. But not all cataclysms are created equal. And even freelancers are wary of the untamed power of the Anthem. This is it. Close as we get with the Striders. Agree. Looks like we fly from here. Alec, you hear that? Yep. All teams get ciphers and their amplifiers. Let's go! We're a long way from the Cenotaph, and the storm is worse than we thought. Okay, this is as close as we're gonna get to the center without the Strider getting ripped to shreds. Let's go, freelancers. Suit up! How crazy will this get? No idea. Never tried to shut down a cataclysm this big. Oh, steady, Faye. None of us come out of this alive without our cipher. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. Oh. Okay, Freelancer. You might be new, but you won't be here for the show promise. Hey, Alec, what's up? Waiting for it to die down out there? Let's go! Uh, I thought you could use a head start. See you at the Cenotaph. We're heading out. Okay, everyone. Let's stop this cataclysm from growing. From killing everything. I don't know, Alec. I haven't seen uh, anything like this before. Look, everyone. I won't be here if I thought this storm could beat me, right? Our rage is no different than the hundreds of other Shaper ruins we've dealt with. It's just bigger. This is what we do. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna take on whatever unholy beast it spits at us, and we're going to tame that thing together. Let's Hell do yeah. it. Yeah. Ready, Captain One? Ooh, ready. Strong along, stronger together. Rookie, there you are. Get in here. 
Base calling a retreat. We got this. Almost there. Team, you need to retreat. Not good. He's gone. I'm sorry. This thing is going down. Come on! During the failed attempt to silence the heart of rage, we lost more than freelancers, more than friends and comrades. We lost the faith of the people we protect. So the freelancers scattered, searching for ways to redeem themselves. The few who remained carried on, finding new allies where they could doing their best to help a people who no longer called the freelancers heroes. isn't as lucky as the freelancer whose guts were turned inside out. But how's that lucky? Is he dying got it over with? This is a pain. They all are. Indecipherable puzzles that only make sense to shapers. No, I mean there's ice jamming it up. <laughs> we're out of time. Silence it. I'm trying to. Well, nobody's on him. It's an Essex. It's not working. I'll oh, put it back into it. <laughs> Well, at least now I've got a new story. That time a relic spawned a giant Essex that almost ate you whole. Yeah. Classic for the ages. I'd say that fulfills the contract. Time to get back to Fort Tarsus. To a job well done. The only kind there is. I'm on my way. Fort Tarsus, a last stop on the Bastion Frontier. If it isn't my favorite freelancer, I hear you've been busy. Ah, you know how it is, though. Another day, another disaster averted. What have you done this time? Nothing. <laughs> my armor's fine. Probably. I hope. Yeah, you see what I mean? You picked up on that, right? A little warble? It's warbling, right? All readings fall within acceptable tolerances. You gotta look past the numbers for once in your life. Something is off. The connection is a bit fuzzy. How do you quantify fuzzy? You don't quantify fuzzy? You don't measure it, you don't count it. It's nothing like that. It's, it's a feeling. Everything okay here, Owen? 
Yeah, well, on your last mission, I noticed that the cipher chair was giving off some very strange feedback. Oh, readings fall within acceptable tolerances. Well, it's your call, but if you ignore it and something goes wrong... I then, will find know. an arcanist and perform a full protocol inspection on this unit. There's nothing wrong with the chair, is there? No. Why are you always stirring up trouble? What are you talking about? I've just done her a massive favor. You've got no idea how boring it is being a Fort Cipher. She does not get to work with a freelancer. She does not get to see the world through the eyes of a javelin pilot. No, 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 no. You know what she gets to do? She gets to relay official messages back and forth to Cyphers at the Capitol day after day after day. Some people like boring. Not everyone's cut out to be a freelancer. So you have said. But you have to admit that last mission would have gone better with a partner. I have a partner. You. Every good javelin pilot needs a cipher. That is not what I meant. Look, if I had a suit of my own, I could be out there in the field with you! Well down your boosters, Hotshot. With more training, you'll get your chance, I promise. Fine. Not like we could afford a spare suit anyway. The job board is empty. We'll figure something out. We always do. Yeah. Do you ever regret missing out on the glory days? Back when freelancers were treated like heroes. Contracts would just fall into their laps. Everywhere they went, they were given respect. And free sandwiches. Free sandwiches? Yeah, I haven't had my lunch yet, I'm starving. We're on a tight budget here. Budget has room for sandwiches. You're probably right. You know what? Why don't you uh, head over to the forge, get your javelin tuned up so we're ready to roll if a contract does fall into our laps. Owen, you need something? What are you talking about? I just got a message from you saying to meet you at the forge. I didn't send any. Why would I want to meet up here? Something's not right. We needed to speak in private. My name is Tassin. Do you always travel with a security escort? Not always. The Sentinels have their uses. Well, you make a hell of an entrance, I'll give you that. I have a contract for you, freelancer. I'd like to know who I'm working for before I take a job. Really? From what I hear, two of you will take about any job you can get these days. What's the job? An arcanist has gone missing. Missing? I thought arcanists just hung out in labs studying Schaefer relics. <laughs> Matthias Sumner was investigating some relics at a ruin near the fort. I need you to find him and bring him back home safe. If he's still alive. No one knows more about the dangers of Schaefer artifacts. I'm confident that knowledge and his own resourcefulness will keep him alive until you find him. What do you say, freelancer? We'll make it worth your while. Owen? Looks like the freelancer's right again. Well, us anyway. Excuse me, I just got a... That is excellent. I will go and run my diagnostics. Let me know when you're ready to leave. It was a pleasure. On behalf of myself and Matthias, thank you for doing this. Uh, okay. And if I have... Fine, Matthias. Trust me. I'm a person you want to know. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yarrow. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Fremark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, Prosperous, but most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The 
Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. Freelancer Adams led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny, says the army, was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Free Lancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm, which was unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. And there we are. The Dominion. Yeah, and they've got Tassin's agents. Best Lilo. Give us the relic. We know it's here. I... I don't know what you mean. Then I'll show you. No. That's not how we conduct business. I find that pain is no substitute for money. So let's negotiate. The relics not for sale. 
can see progress. You do hurt. Now name your price, and we all walk away with something. Relics are dangerous. Only if you're careless. Do I look careless? Officer, we found the relic! A pity for you. Negotiations have concluded. You bastard! Oh, well, now this is awkward. A freelancer. How oh, useless. I fought your kind before, and I put them in the ground. You'll be joining them. Build me in on what happened. You've got a problem out there. Some kind of Dominion Heavy. His people called him the Monitor. We couldn't stop him. And he was there for a Shaper relic? Tore the place apart. Your agent wouldn't give in. Right to the end, she... Well... I know. I'm sorry. She left this archive behind. We'll have my people dig into it. <sighs> the Dominion really have returned. In force. Damn. I thought spies took everything in stride. We also respect our enemies. Life under Dominion rule isn't much of a life at all. And if they have set their sights on Fort Tarsus? Right. Well, uh, the fort isn't exactly my idea of living the dream, but it is home, and I'd prefer it to remain dictator-free. What can we do? For now, remain patient. I don't want to make a move until I have more information. In the meantime, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Sentinel Bryn. She's sharp, trustworthy, and could use some assistance. Why don't you help her while I look into the Dominion? I'll be in touch. Sentinel Rissabrin, Fort Command. Sentinel, how can we help? Well, uh, we probably shouldn't talk here. Come see me by my desk and my plants. Plants? Right. So, uh, good. I will see you. Okay, then. What's up? What are you talking about? You called me, mate. No, you... Oh, hold on a second. The Monitor is leading a mission back into the Heart of Rage. He wants to weaponize the Cenotaph. We decrypted the archive you recovered from the Regulator camp earlier, and we know why he's after unique Shaper relics. Doesn't mean he'll succeed. Did you know the Monitor was there when the Dominion attacked Freemark? One of the few who escaped when the Cenotaph leveled the city. Oh, shit. He's ruthless, driven, and savage. An incredibly powerful cipher and a brilliant pilot. He frightens even his own people. The storm will tear him apart. No one survives the heart of rage. <laughs> you did. The intel also reveals that he's perfected a way to harness the power of the Cenotaph. And we cannot let that happen. Obviously. I need you to find a way through the heart of rage. Get to the Cenotaph first and silence it. Do what freelancers do. Do what freelancers do? You're talking about a bloody cataclysm. He's right. We aren't equipped to take that on. <laughs> of course. Well, I can think of others who survived the heart of rage that day, who never let it go, studied it. Ugh, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to know this one. My old partners, Alec and Faye. Intel says the Monitor is on their trail. It suggests Faye has found something important. Last known location. Oh, I can. <clears throat> so, Halleck and Faye. Intel says your partnership ended badly. I don't know, we just kind of grew apart. Really? Because I heard that Halleck never forgave you for pulling him out of that storm and Faye went... <laughs> Where are we going? All oh, right. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. No, Halleck and Faye are working with Princess Zim. The regulator boss? Oh, please, she's a smuggler at best. She's a full-fledged crime lord at worst. We really need them. To get through the heart of rage and beat the monitor to the cenotaph? Yeah, we need them. Do we? You and I? We're such a solid team already. Of course. That's why Tassin picked us. You got my back, I got yours. All right. Hey, considering that the monitor is both Lancer and Cypher, we could probably use... 
A very fabulous cipher-javelin pilot combo of our own. Owen, be patient. Pilot lessons are going fine, but seriously, it might take you years. Okay. You know what? This might be fun. Apparently, Princess Im's camp is like a traveling carnival. Now, it's a traveling carnival run by bloodthirsty gangsters ooh, who like gifts. So you need to get us something to get in. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? All the way. Behold the wonders of the palace. All hail Princess Zim. Long may she reign. <laughs> they do know that she is not a, uh, a real princess, right? She's just a crazy smuggler with delusions of grandeur. You scoped this place out yet? What, you think I went in there alone? Are you crazy? No, I've been standing here waiting for you. Besides, it's your friends we're looking for. <laughs> Let's go find Halleck and Faye. Right, come on. Oh, pleasure doing business, Princess. Our business is not yet completed. No? I thought we had a... deal. Who is this, Haluk? No one. An old friend. Please, invite your old friend over to join us. Uh, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. No. First, we celebrate our new partnership in the tradition of my people. Come closer, friend of Haluk. Scorford and Stinger, highly acidic, is going to burn going down. A lot. Um, you know, I had a big breakfast. Refusing a meal is a grave insult to your host. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy. Forgive my ignorance, princess. I didn't know people could eat this. I come from a harsh and unforgiving land. Plants are scarce. Animals even more so. Before the Dominion conquered us, we had a saying. Food is life. Life is struggle. We understood that. We embraced it. It helped make us strong. Oh. Thanks for the meal, Princess. That was just the appetizer. The main course. Oh. 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 Behold. The pheromone sack of a young Manticar, cured for an entire year in a vat of fermented chimera venom. A rare delicacy I have been saving for a special occasion. After you, princess. <clears throat> I could not dishonor myself by eating while my guests go hungry. I love Manticar. <laughs> Our deal? Be sure to thank your friend, Haluk. How oh, you... you look a little green. Just need to sit down for a second. What do you want? I think what he meant to say was thank you. I have a contract. A contract? Well, we don't need your charity. Excellent. Faye, Halleck, this is Owen. Cypher and Lancer in the making. Corvus sent me. Corvus? Huh. What, are you some kind of a hotshot now? You got a lot of nerve after all this time. Quit being dramatic. Sit down. I'd rather stand. Let's all go back to the Strider. I'll explain. We got our own thing going. Thanks, but no. Wait. Something's not right. Dominion troops! Clear out! Scatter! Look 
Keep your friends safe. Don't worry about me. I'll see you there. What a rush. <laughs> I mean, I'd say we really took it to the Dominion back then, right? And I think we'll agree that I was, I was pretty fantastic. Oh, are you serious? That was a disaster. You were a disaster. Never do that again. Please. Right. I'll just, uh, I'll just head to the amplifier. Over here. Nothing's changed. Thought you'd probably at least paint it or something. The corrosion adds a nice patina. Should we talk about the weather next, or have we fulfilled our quota for small talk? I don't think there's a penalty for going over. Read any good books lately? Thousands of them. It's been a long time, you know. It's good to see you again. Is it? You're not just here because you need something. It doesn't matter. You're back. I'm still picking up a lot of Dominion radio chatter, but we're losing sight of our pursuers. Or not, sorry, why have we stopped? Uh, ay, ay, ay. Damn it all to hell. Alec, you still haven't rep- Shut up. I got this. Where's my socket wrench? Left in the box, as usual. Never thought you'd be back here. Life's just full of surprises. Switching off starboard power before it overloads. Oh, come on. That's just half the fun. Can we please hurry this up? They will be on top of us any minute now. Pliers. What are you doing here? I'm helping you fix this garbage actuator. Again. More liable than some. So what's this contract of yours? Can we please chat later? Dominion will be here any second. One, please. This is important. Just, you're not helping. Screwdriver. Which one? Use your... Three eights, obviously. I'm going back to the heart of rage. Really? The Dominion wants the Cenotaph. Corvus hired me to get it first. Well, that explains why Dominion troops showed up at Zim's. Faye, light us up. <clears throat> Faye and I have two years of research and legwork on this. And you want what? Jump in the end and claim credit? Halleck, time is of the essence. We have a lead that requires a Lancer right now. Shouldn't we work together? No. I can handle it. You've got the Dominion on your back, and you don't think that maybe you could use a hand? We could find someone else. You go right ahead, mate. Not in time, we can't. You need me, and I can't finish this contract without you. One job. Just one. I got a Strider to drive! You said you have a lead? We might. One moment. As expected. Hold these, please. You found something. About the Cenotaph or the Heart of Rage? Zim did. Pays to have friends, you know. <laughs> Some friends. I'm sure you've heard of the Legion of Dawn, General Tarsus. What? General Tarsus? Yeah. She entered the last Heart of Rage and reached the center. The Cenotaph. How? I've done the research. Her javelin could do the impossible. It had unique shields and who knows what else. Wait, you, you think you found her armor? The original Javelin of Dawn? Yes, finally. Now we just need to go get it. Interested? Well, personally, I can't wait to see it. Just give me whatever intel Her Highness had and let's get the expedition started. No need. I'll be supporting this mission. I've already done all the relevant research. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> 